Welcome to Oaten Co. Bridal. Come on in. We own the market for styling curvy brides. Oh, I didn't even notice that. At Oaten Co., we're known for style, snatch, slay. Good day. As you know, we like to. I want every woman to have the perfect fit. Do we have a busy day today? <laughs> of course, it's Saturday. It's Saturday, yeah. yeah. Stupid question. <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. In bridal, Saturdays are called the Super Bowl because that's the big day of bridal. That means you're going to get a lot of brides coming in to find their look. However, I find everyone in the corner and they bring in coffee, they talk about their dates, their boyfriends, they're like, they're a boyfriend. Guys, can we get ready for the huddle? Yes. Woo, long day today. Long, long day today. We have a new bride that's coming in, Emily, for a traditional appointment. I'm gonna take her. Emily recently moved from Kentucky. She's young, however, she's pretty clear on what she wants and what she doesn't. I will be finalizing everything with Marilyn, okay? okay. Marilyn is coming for her final fitting. Early in her wedding process, Mary Lynn lost her mother in a tragic accident, so she's been struggling with her happiness and her body image. Our job today is to help her feel just a little bit better and leave here feeling confident and beautiful. Jen, you're actually going to work in bridesmaids today. <laughs> Not gonna be an assistant forever. <laughs> Jen is doing a good job, and as long as she's in it, we're in it with her. Allie, you're gonna work with Jen, but you're also gonna work with Ramika. Since Jess is no longer with us, I'll be doing double duty on the front desk until we find ourselves a new um, concierge. So today is going to be a very busy day. I know y'all looking all peppy, but be clear. <laughs> you know, be clear. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna take off my little Birkenstocks. I like it. Yeah. I like the look. You make it trendy. No. I'm not wearing these Birkenstocks, no. My name is Emily McLawn and I am 25. I'm in marketing. My fiance is Bill. He's actually a role playing game writer. I met him on OkCupid. Okay both he and I play board games and do role playing games. And both of us are polyamorous. So even though we're engaged, we'll still have relationships with other people that are meaningful and are important to us. I'm doing a Celtic themed wedding. So if I could find something that's like along those lines, that would be awesome. I tried on things in two other bridal shops, but they're just the bigger versions of the same dress. They weren't designed for somebody that has a large chest, you know, they were designed for somebody who was skinnier and then they just made it larger. So I want to dress that it makes you look good. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? You are a new bride. I am. Come on in, everyone. All right. Tell me a little bit about your vision for your wedding. So I'm planning on doing a Celtic themed wedding. So when you say a Celtic themed wedding, Dad, are you wearing, um, yeah. are you wearing, um, Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 okay. Okay. Just want to make sure I understand the entire thing. I'm going to ask you to follow me. We'll get started. Okay. So we're going this way. There you go. Because she has that Celtic thing. She doesn't like a lot of embellishment. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to start her with this one. Are you excited? I am. We're a very non-traditional couple, and I want a non-traditional wedding to reflect that. Same yeah. traditional. Yeah. <laughs> well, he and I date multiple people, for example. Like, we're polyamorous. Oh, polyamorous, okay. Mm -hmm. I am a traditionalist, and I'm pretty old-fashioned with this. No. No. Okay. Plus, I play roller derby. I do mud wrestling. I do sword fighting. <laughs> you know, eclectic women really force us to bring out our best in our style. Look at that. Okay, you ready? Yes. All right. Open your eyes. I really love it. I think you look gorgeous. It's very flattering on you. I love it. Oh, I, Mom, did you say flattering? Flattering and fat. Those are the two words you cannot use at Oat & Co. Bridal. Women have curves, women have breasts, women have hips, and women have an ass. And sometimes we love those curves. Flattering, I don't even know what that word means anymore. That though. <laughs> we like to say the gown is either beautiful or she's more beautiful. The bottom's just too plain. The bottom is just too plain. I'm gonna tell you, Miss KK, she actually likes the simplicity. This okay. is definitely as much embellishment as I would like. Okay. I wouldn't do it being bigger too. Yeah, she wants a little bit more volume, mm -hmm. right? 
I'm gonna bring in something I know you're probably gonna like a little bit more. Okay. All right, Allie, you wanna help her out yeah, with this you Just pick it up at the knees. Keep there. stepping on it. <laughs> and I'm planning on going barefoot, so. Wait, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me move my hair, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna wear a shoe? No, we're doing an outdoor thing right next to the reception. I'm all about an eclectic wedding, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Emily has a lot of interesting elements that she was trying to incorporate with the wedding dress. So I am hoping that the next gown will help bring in a little bit of that wow factor. That is beautiful. I love the lace. I yeah, I like that. that. I like that a oh, lot. With the, the lattice print? Yeah, the yes. lattice is nice. Yeah. I think that's gorgeous. So you have a really eclectic lace and different patterning. The reason why I love this dress is because they like the four-leaf clovers in it. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Such a Celtic theme wedding. Yeah, but I don't like the silhouette on this one as much. Oh, you as, don't? Uh, actually, I know. I was surprised, too, because I saw it and I thought that I would. I would. Here's the thing. I think that you're just uncomfortable with the fit that is so tight down this way. What I can do is we can bring out another A-line that can be a little bit cut here, where the bodice actually is a little bit more defined. OK? And I think that would be helpful. Yeah. OK. Get you out of this one. We're bringing your next look. Look at that! I love everything, including that yeah. lovely belt. I love this dress. Uh, I really like the bodice. Um, I like the skirt. I'm not a huge fan of this belt, but that's <gasps> something we can easily switch. We could just take off. <laughs> well, yeah, I think we can switch it to something else. Mom's like, I love that belt. I love the back, too. Because we know that Emily likes to do a little bit of roller derbying, <laughs> as well as a little bit of barefoot in the parking. So let's say she wants a different look. We're going to take off the bolero. OK. See how fast that came on? Oh, my god! As I said, it's a completely different dress. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. And so, right? So it's actually another look. Watch if we put the belt oh. right here. Hold this right here Love for me. The belt. It's right, no, right there. Yes, I could do another belt. She can absolutely do another belt and make it more of your own. What I would recommend is that we just get a silk ribbon in green mm -hmm. and remove the applique from this silk and attach it to the ribbon. OK. And that way, you can add in your little bit of the Celtic. OK. That's amazing. That is a really, really pretty dress. So. Did we achieve the perfect fit? You did. I think so. I like want to show it to my fiance. Wait. Wait. <laughs>
So last step, I didn't show her. So the first yeah, you can. Everyone cannot be a bridal stylist. It takes a little bit of being a psychologist, an advocate, a squad wrangler, and of course, fashion forward. I don't want to pat myself on the back. I don't want to dust my shoulder off. But I will tell you this. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yes. <laughs> Mike dropped. OK, Marilyn is on her way, and she should be here shortly. Can you get her dress set and ready in the dressing room? Great. Right, perfect. Thank you. Marilyn's coming in today for a final fitting. I actually have a special place in my heart for Marilyn. Hello. Hey. How are you? My name is Marilyn, and my fiance's name is Eric. We've been together six years. I met Eric through a mutual friend. He's lovable, humble, and very funny. It was love at first sight. My mom isn't able to be here with me today because almost two years ago, my mom suffered a tragic accident when a car ran her over. We were completely devastated by this tragedy that would forever change our lives. Have your gown. It's already in the dressing room. Excellent. I cannot wait for you to see it. When you see a woman that walks in and displays her vulnerability in such an open and honest way, it can't help but to draw you in. All right, you ready? Yes. Is everybody ready? ready? <laughs> the very first time I came into the shop, my mom was in the shop to live that moment with me. So today, it's an emotional mix. Chanel, she has been able to build confidence in me. She was able to say, hey, just relax. I got this. Now, when we come out, you will see the final and finished product. Come on, Marilyn. You see the dress? No, I haven't. I see. She told me it was a surprise for me. <laughs> Didn't you say that the veil belonged to your mom? Yes. It's something that um, we want to pass on to our girls when they get married. Close your eyes. Two, three. Oh, oh my goodness. You look beautiful. Really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can't believe it. Sparkles. The one thing about Marilyn's dress that I really love is the embellishment. She has a sweetheart neckline. It's embellished with a little bit of eyelash lace that peeks out right under the embellishment, all the way through with lace applique. We have a very unfinished tool hem, and the skirt is absolutely beautiful. And I know that Marilyn wanted a mermaid silhouette, but what I really wanted to convince her was that a trumpet, because she is petite, would be a much better fit for her. And so she still gets the hourglass figure, but she gets some movement when she walks around and dances, because you know, we like to <laughs> drop it like it's warm and hot. That's right. <laughs> OK? Now, do you have anything extra you want me to add to it? Yes. Yes. My veil. You have your veil? My... I have a veil. This was actually my mother's veil. Oh. OK. May I have? Yes. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh. What do you think? You look so pretty. Very beautiful. Having my mother's veil, I felt like it represented my mother. I felt her presence, like an angel's always next to us. I want you to get anything on your beautiful veil. Oh, she looks pretty. I feel like a true princess. Is that why you have the tears? No, it's just, uh, just memories of mom. OK. Well, you know, I always like to tell this to people. Anytime there's a special moment, all of our relatives come back to visit us. Do you think she's here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She's going to come back to visit. Thank you. I have something for her. I tried to fix it for you because it is very special. This is the ring, the mama's ring. Oh my gosh. She's here. She's with us. I love you so much. Did we achieve the perfect fit? Yes. yes. Definitely. It's important to make sure that brides 
know the power of their own beauty. Not one bride who will leave this boutique will not know that she is beautiful. Melanie, you are gonna look amazing at your wedding. And somebody gonna have to buy me some more mascara. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel has been my fairy godmother. She just had that moment of holding me tight and saying, hey, you are who you are, you're beautiful. And I thank her for that. Yeah. Brings a lot of confidence in you as, as a curvy woman. Yeah. The next time you see Marilyn, it will be on her wedding day.